Hey folks, it's the Red, getting back to Crash 1 No Damage. It's time to move on to the next level, Jungle Rollers. And up ahead we can already see our first new crate type, TNT Crates. Jump on them once to set off the timer. You have three seconds to get out of the way before it explodes. Don't be in the explosion when that happens, because it will kill you. There are puzzles later in the game that will make good use of this. So, Crash Bandicoot was designed to be something of a competitor to other franchises like Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog, but when you look at the way the levels are set up, you think it was more in line with Donkey Kong Country. Wait for the suicidal skunks to go by, and let's move on. Here we have a biting plant, another series staple. And here we have the objects of the namesake of this stage, rollers in the jungle. Don't stand on their path or they'll squash you. Here we have a Tana icon, one of three in the stage. Collect all three and you'll go to the bonus round. Complete the bonus round and you get to save your game. That's right, it's a reward to save your game here. The saving system in this game is very weird. Either you have to you either have to complete those bonus rounds or collect a gem in one of the past stages. It's it's really weird. See that little green thing up ahead? That's a placeholder for a colored gem. It will lead us to a secret path later on once we collect it. Unfortunately, we don't have it yet, and because we don't have it, we can't get up to the spot where it will take us, where we would find more boxes, which means we can't get the clear gem on this stage either. Oh well, I'll still break as many as I can get. A few skunks in the way, but you can spin one into the others and they'll all die at once. Here's one of those puzzles I was talking about. You have to very carefully do a small hop and then spin to break the middle box only. Then quickly get out of the way. It can be a bit tricky and honestly kind of risky. Kind of like that jump just now. <laughs> Alright, another biting plant. Now when you see a setup like this, it's usually not a good idea to go spinning into it because there could be a TNT hidden behind this box. But not this time, it's a one-up. Always think ahead. And here's our third Tana icon. Yeah! And so we're off to the bonus round. One of the probably more unsung challenges of this game. Most players will just skip right over this area in favor of just getting their game saved. There are plenty of boxes here and plenty of bonuses to collect. If you were so inclined. This one's not so hard because, well, it's the first one. But later ones will get a bit tricky. But I am making it part of the challenge to break every box in the bonus rounds. And here's... Tana? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be captured by Dr. Cortex. Well, the weird thing about these bonus rounds is that while she is here... In, uh... The Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot, she actually kind of teleports out of the area after she does her little shipping, you saved your game. And I'm guessing that was what was supposed to happen uh, in the U.S. version, and it got patched for the Japanese release. Okay, back to the action. Take out this biting plant. Mind your jumps around these rollers, which are now doubled. It does get a little trickier moving forward. But there's the end of the stage up ahead. We made it! But unfortunately, because of that green gem path that we can't take, we missed three boxes. Bummer. And so, Jungle Roller is now complete, and the Great Gate will be in our next video. But... Jungle Rollers did see a few outtakes this time. I'll go ahead and show you those, and I will see you next time. And here's a precariously placed one-up. Jump and spin up at... Well, first death of the game.
It was gonna happen eventually. <laughs> but when you look at the way some of these levels are set up, you'd think it was more in line with Crash ba with. Well, I have no comment for that. They are rollers in a jungle. They'll flatten you if you are on their track. Whoa! Went a little too far there. <laughs> sort of competitor for Mario and Sonic. Did that really just happen again? All you have to do is do a small hop and then spit. Yeah. Not too high. 